Women in Focus, a podcast by British Naturism. Coming soon. Hello, I'm Helen Berryman, Women's Officer for British Naturism. Over the last 18 months, I've been talking to women in naturism from the UK and abroad, finding out about them, what nudism means to them, and have created Women in Focus written series. Now, what that is, is a bunch of questions that different women from all over the planet have answered. This has become very popular, and now I've got the pleasure of developing it into a podcast. Each month, I will be your host, and I will speak to the women who have contributed to find out more in their very own words. For those that don't know me, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've been a naturist for three years. My husband, Simon, has been a naturist since about 2011. We got together in 2015 and quite early into the relationship, he told me that he was a naturist and liked to live a clothing optional lifestyle. I didn't fully understand what that meant, but said, yeah, whatever, as long as it doesn't affect me. But it did affect me though, when I came home from work one day to find him naked at his computer screen. And I was shocked, I didn't know what to make of it. So we had a few robust conversations and it was agreed that he would cover up. Fast forward a little bit, the conversation never went dry. He kept the conversation alive by taking a little bit too long to get dressed in the mornings, allowing himself to be caught naked again, leaving naturist magazines lying around. Ultimately, I knew that naturism was part of his life and I needed to understand it a bit more. Then came lockdown and everyone went into lockdown. And that was kind of my turning point where I started to think life's too short. My daughter, then 13, didn't have a problem with Simon's naturism, and it occurred to me that the problem was mine. And so I had to really sort of ask myself some questions. What was the problem? Why was I so bothered when nobody else was bothered? It really helped that the first lockdown was hot, and I got used to Simon being naked around the house and garden a little bit more, and he bought me a bikini. Now, this was a big step in itself for me. I hadn't worn a bikini for 20-odd years, Always been ashamed of my body, never being able to conform to society's beauty standards. And so even just wearing the bikini was a big deal for me. But it did give me some confidence. During the second lockdown, Simon got us involved in a normalising nudity project. We were to go to a naturist place to take part in like a life drawing class where naked people were going to be drawing me. Now, I went on the understanding that I could keep my clothes on. There was no way I was getting naked. And I think the hardest thing at first was getting used to seeing the other naked people. But I realised quite soon that it wasn't weird. It wasn't unusual at all. They were just normal people drawing me. It's just they weren't wearing any clothes. And maybe an hour into the class, I felt really silly. It was a really hot day. I was the only one wearing a dress. And so I just took my dress off. And nothing happened. The world kept spinning. People carried on drinking their tea or doing their drawings or having their conversations. It was really rather unremarkable. And that was my turning point. That was the moment I realised naturism wasn't what I used to think it was. I used to think that nudity equated to sex. And I learnt there and then I was so, so wrong. So since then, I've been very passionate about telling the world that I was wrong about naturism. I didn't understand it. It has given me so much positivity and mental well-being, acceptance of the skin that I'm in, beautiful friendships of males and females, and just a real understanding of acceptance. We'd love to hear from you at Women in Focus. So if you'd like to get in touch, you can email us at womeninfocus at bn.org.uk or for more information, you can log on to bn.org.uk forward slash women. I hope you'll join us as we delve into the world of women in naturism. On the first Saturday of each month, I will bring you a new contribution starting on the 2nd of December. Subscribe now so you won't miss it as we put women in focus.